Welcome or welcome back to Red Static Reacts. I'm Jeremy. I'm Max. And today we are watching episode four of season two of Breaking Bad. All right. And uh, not a whole lot crazy happened in the last episode. Walt is in the uh, or was in the hospital after his fugue state and had to sneak back into his own house to hide the gun and the money. Jesse had to move the RV. Yeah. And the entire lab he had in his basement. Badger and him are cool again, I guess. <laughs> They're fine. Yeah. And uh, Hank got a little celebration for killing Tuco. Got, in his, got a grill out got, of it. Yeah. It was nice that Hank went to visit, visit uh, uh, Walt in the hospital. Yeah. And stayed on about how well are you doing and didn't go on about the... Yeah, he you know, seemed more concerned with Walt and... I like that. Yeah. We're recording this on Christmas, so yes. happy holidays. And we also just recently hit 300 subscribers. Yay. So it's going quick, man. And, and thank uh, all of you for that. Yeah. Yeah, we really appreciate it. And, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what to Please do. Please do. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the episode. Okay, let's go. All right. Back to the black and white intro. There's that pink bear. One eyed bear. That looks like maybe Walt, or I'm not sure. Looks like an astronaut. Is there evidence bags? What? Whose house are they at? Walt's? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, Captain America. <laughs> Stupid. When do we, you know? We don't. For now. Look, I just put my family through an ordeal that they're just now starting to accept, okay? I can't. Ah. Oh, it's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even be inconspicuous. Hey, half your money's mine. You own 50 50 partners, that's our business model. Meaning what exactly? That I suffer for your carelessness? Hey, you're the one who wanted to work with Tuco. Okay, if it worked with that, none of this would have happened. <laughs> oh. They don't have anything to fear here. And I, I know why they're paranoid, but I, I think Walt's just been watching too many movies. Ah, food. <laughs> you just can't get away from it. I didn't know you were allowed to touch a stove. Hilarious, Groucho. <laughs> Go on, grab a seat. Dad's cooking breakfast. But don't worry, I'm also doing all the dishes. Mm. He's trying too hard. Well, he's got me. See those pancakes? Yeah. Walt, you didn't have to do this. I wanted to. Nothing but suspicion in her eyes, huh? Yeah. Ah, boss gags. There's another one. Oh, Lido shuffle. Boss gags do the Lido shuffle. Awesome. I know that because I'm an old timer. All week long, there's a uh, a fiction writer seminar at UNM, and uh, you know, probably talking about how to get published and, and that sort of. Thing. Trying to get her out of town. It sounds like it, doesn't it? I mean, I'll go with you if you like. Y'all didn't eat that big breakfast? Not that fast. Well, they can't show it in real time. This would be 45 minutes of just them eating. I'm okay with that. 
what you heard was my cell phone alarm going off. It's, uh, I've been using it a lot as a medication reminder to, uh, well, remind me to take my medication. He was doing all right until he started talking about the phone. Skyler! What the heck? Yeah, it probably wasn't a good idea to make that big breakfast and then try to come up immediately with an excuse. She left her phone. Maybe she has a second one. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, for what? Might help. Jesse Bruce Pinkman, pursuant to section 47-8- Bruce is an odd middle name. Wait, what? You're kicking me out of my own house? It's your Aunt Ginny's house. And she gave it to me. She never gave it to you, Jesse. You are allowed residentiary privileges. Your parents have always been the property owners. What the hell happened? What happened is you're a speed manufacturer. No, I'm not. What? A DEA agent came looking for you, Jesse. He came to our front door. Because I've actually been helping them, which I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you so. You're welcome. Yeah, he's not a much better liar than Walt, I guess. No. So I went over there and I let myself in. And I found your laboratory. Son of a gun. Under federal asset seizure, the government can take the entire house. Son, we can't stop you from ruining your life, but you will not drag us down with you. Vacate the house in 72 hours. Three days, Mr. Pinkman. So he has barely any money, and he has three days to get out of his house. Looks like he's going to put a call in to Walt for this one. And Walt's got his own problems right now. These guys are just a ball of problems. Hey, I uh, fixed the garage door. Great. Yeah. Where were you today? Out. Is this a taste of your own medicine type situation? It seems that way. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Oh, man. I, I don't know what he's going to do. Well, you could start by shutting up. Is that his aunt, I I'm guess? Second. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've just been pretty busy. How'd you... All right, you have that key. Um, hey, listen, um... <laughs> so I've been thinking a lot about our... I don't think he needs to worry about hiding the bong. Any, I mean, there was a meth lab in the basement, you know? I, I, I know, I know, I know, I'm just... Oh my god. Maybe changing the locks on the doors initially would have been a good idea. The time for talking has passed, Jesse. Hey! Hey! What the hell, yo? I thought this was just a wake-up call. We are putting it in storage. When you decide to grow up, you can have it back. But why do you grow up, Mom? Jenny wanted me here. Or I was the one who took care of her. I took her to her appointments and made her lunch every day. I earned this. You did not make her lunch every day. What'd you do? Huh? She's lying there, dying, and where the hell are you? Don't start with me. You decided to, oh, I don't know, make your eldest son homeless? Wow! Great family, Mom! Ooh. Why are you like this? Why? I wonder how much truth there was to them not being around for the... I don't know. Because if that is true, that that's pretty shitty. What if she didn't defend herself about it? I don't know, sweetheart. That's uh, that's heartbreaking. Please. The look in her face. Turn your life around. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna help big time with that, bitch. Uh, that's not helping. That that would have gotten me another slap. I think. Hey, Mr. White. Hey, well, now that's the way. Don't just sit out there honking. Come in and say hello. I, 
We've got omelets. You want an omelet? No, I'm good. Yeah, I kind of want an omelet. Yeah, I do too. Thank you, though. Uh, Flynn and me got to get going. Who's Flynn? Flynn. He's your... Uh... Flynn? Yeah. Instead of going by Walt Jr.? Yeah, he's... Didn't want is, I don't know if that's his middle name or just a nickname. Flynn? You know about this Flynn thing? Mm -hmm. It's what he likes to be called these days. What's wrong with Walter Jr.? Don't take it personally. Yeah, how else can he take it? Hey, I made omelets. I'm going out, but thanks, though. Ugh. <laughs> Boy, he's getting the treatment. This is uh, rough to watch. Yeah, it is. What, what part of no contact didn't you understand? I know, but there's a problem. I don't care. We agree. No amount of pay-per-view channels is going to make any difference. <laughs> <laughs> Skylar? Skylar? Where are you going? Um, can you at least tell me that? Oh. Ooh. Probably get that wall. I'll be back in a few hours. Ah, man. <laughs> well, turnabout's fair play, I guess. What? Yo, I get I shouldn't call, but I'm in a situation over here and I need my money. I just gave you $600. Yeah, and thanks, Daddy Warbucks, but that was before my housing situation went completely testicular on me, okay? You smoked the entire $600, didn't you? Look, Jesse, your problems are just that. Your problems. No contact. Do not call here, ever. You're not listening. No, no, no. Right? To kick me out of my house. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. You know, I, this has happened to people, and that's got to be the most frustrating time of your life. Not knowing where you're going to be going. Yeah. Not knowing what to do. Not having any money. That's terrible. I guess if there's a upside to any of this it's that he knows at some point walt's going to want to cook again but they don't have a distributor still you know right so i don't know and how's he going to get a hold of jesse i don't know i mean he jesse, doesn't he doesn't have a house he doesn't he i mean jesse's gonna have to come to him he's gonna have to go to his house i mean tuco took both of their cell phones and ripped them up out there in the desert right yeah Jesse uh, Pinkman? Wow. His house is getting bug bombed, and I said he could crash a few nights. Hey, Jesse. Hey. Uh, Paul, could you help me in the bedroom with these? Yeah, that's not going to fly. Yeah, yeah. We got to talk, right? Mm hmm. Well, you know. He knows. You can certainly understand, I think. I. Holy space that the in-laws are crashing this weekend. I know that's that's cool. I got tons of people. Yeah. 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 That sucks. But you know what? It's never just a couple days. No, it's not. I've had that happen to me before, where I would somebody would ask me if they could stay at my place for a couple days, and it always turned into like two weeks. What if it's just for tonight? <laughs> You cannot be serious! Hey, Someone stole his bike. Someone took your bike, man. Not cool. It's all crashing down, isn't it? He's got the clothes on his back and no money. Well, $600, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, man. This is terrible. This dude is having just the worst day of his life so far. Well, at least he's got a place to... Oh, gosh. All that smelly stuff. I just want to give this dude a hug. Yeah, this not, is... Not right now. 
well while he's like <laughs> uh, yeah but i know what you mean it's like when he thought it was bad it, get, it can get worse there she goes again she's definitely proving a point morning where did mom, where did mom go? Out. He looks like he's about to blow up. Let's go do something. Uh, like what? Something fun. That, that looked like a mission when he said that. <laughs> a quest for fun. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to turn into. Uh, yeah. Good. I'll stop talking what you're doing there's the easy way and then there's the right way right so let's just try it again right foot only yeah well walt no he's using both feet when i broke my foot i had to use you know yeah that's tough you know it's also super unsafe all right slow it down just a little bit all right we have a turn coming up here so prepare what i got yeah he's gunning it isn't he Prepare, Walt, for the brakes, the brakes, the brakes, the brakes. I'm braking! Wait, you're using both feet again. It's not stopping! That, no, that's the gas. Use the brake, the brake, the brake, 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 brake! Okay. That's one way to stop. <laughs> All right. Look, this is my RV. You towed it. Your cousin, Badger, remember? What the hell are you doing here? Please. All right, I really... God, God, I really need a break here. I'll say. Clovis, come on. They got some weird names in that family. Clovis, yeah. Badger. Yeah. I'm sure Badger's not his real name. But... Something called methylamine? Me meth... However the hell you pronounce it. Methylamine. I don't know. It banged on it. It sounds pretty full to me. <laughs> well, that's one way. Well, the guy was about to sell all his stuff anyway. And I don't know how much that, that methylene was worth, but... Uh, A lot. A whole lot. More than 2000 bucks, I guess. Huh? Yeah. I was thinking maybe this would be a good time to talk. You know, I got the feeling he's about to move out. I mean, this may be the opportune time for him to do that. If they're going to cook again, for him to be able to say, obviously we can't work this out right now, I'm going to move out. I wanted to apologize for everything. Emotional unavailability. Having cancer doesn't excuse all that. I haven't been a good partner to you. I'm very sorry. She's still going to want to know about that phone, man. All of this is just idle words to her right now, I think. Is that it? God. God, how long are you going to do this? I feel like you're upset with me because you think that I'm up to something. I, I, I have no idea, Skylar. What, that I'm, I'm having an affair? Is that it? Is that what you think? I don't know. Okay. So ask me. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is this? What, what do I have to do? I'm trying to talk to you, and you just... Okay, don't talk, Walt. Shut up and say something that isn't complete bullshit. You have to tell me what's really going on right now. Today. No more excuses. No more apologies. No more of these these obvious, desperate breakfasts. I like the breakfast. Yeah, we could keep with the breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what. Well, if you needed an excuse to leave, you got it. We're not done here. Skyler! Do you know what I've done for this family? No, she doesn't. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I hate to say this, but it's probably a good thing uh, that things happened the way they just did. Why are you blue? <laughs> <laughs> Let 
I mean, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm, I'm really asking. I just need my half of the money, and I will go. Your half? There is no your half of the money. There is only my all of it. Do you understand? You are a pathetic junkie. Too stupid to understand and follow simple rudimentary instructions. Too stupid to re I don't blame Jesse for that at all. Yeah, there's only so much. They're both in a bad way here. Well, just after the past couple days Jesse's had? I swear, it looks like he was about to kill him. He, yeah, after what's happened to Jesse. That was that was uh, a lot of anger pent up by both of them. Sometimes you just gotta get it out, but maybe Jesse could get a shower. Want some breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I think Walt just likes cooking. Well, he looks like he's pretty good at it. Yeah. This is this has been a rough episode, man. You know, I was mostly with her up until right now. Gosh almighty, man. That was yeah. a tough episode. I'm surprised we talked as much as we did, honestly. that was, I mean, the name of this episode is Down, and that's pretty appropriate. I don't think a single thing went right for anybody. I thought I, Jesse so, looked like he was about to kill Walt there, or at least beat the hell out of him. Yeah, I mean, well, there's only so much you can... Well, you know... Walt, oh, he's got a lot of aggression right now because of everything that's going on and because of what Skylar is doing and, and his son changing his name to Flynn. But when he started in on Jesse telling him how stupid he was, and he's already got his parents uh, that have disowned him. Sto his motorcycle got stolen and whatever he had in that plastic crate and he didn't have any money. He had nowhere else to go. If we're ranking bad days, I think Jesse had it worse than anybody. Skyler smoking and being pregnant. Um, That's not a good nah. idea. I, I was with her most of the episode. Uh, but that is just... Seeing things like that just gets under my skin big time. Yeah. I, I hate that. You know. Well, Hot take, smoking while pregnant is bad. But, you know, I thought that was a really good episode. Uh, it was, it lived up to the title. I guess we'll see what happens next. Yeah, in episode five. All right, then. Yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Please do. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays again. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. I'm waving <laughs> this time. So long. <laughs>